गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून सर last class we have started about high wheel energy storage system in high wheel we see that there is a rotor which is rotating with some speed due to, due to the speed the energy stored in kinetic form so what is the expression of kinetic energy in case of the equation of kinetic energy in case of circular disc suppose there is a circular disc or any rotating device suppose there is some rotating device or some rotating rotor so tell me the expression of kinetic energy it is the expression of kinetic energy for rotating system with this Tell me how much energy is stored for a rotating device. Deepak? Yes, sir. How much kinetic energy is stored in a rotating device? J omega square. Half. How much? Half J omega square. Yes, sir. Half J omega square. Half J omega square. That means E is equal to half J omega square. Where, where J is? What is the name of J? Inertia. Moment of inertia. And what is omega? Angular speed. Angular speed. Yes. So we can also replace J sometimes by I. By I, we also represent moment of inertia. So, here we denote this expression by I. So, if we try to increase the kinetic energy of a system, what we should do? What should we do? If we try to increase the kinetic energy of a system, Deepak, tell me what should we do? We are increasing. We have to increase the kinetic energy. So either we have to increase moment of inertia or either we have to increase the angular speed. Which one is preferable? Angular speed. Sir. Angular speed. If we increase the angular speed, what will happen? In case of say centrifugal force, 
और सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स व्हाट विल हैपन इफ वी इंक्रीज ओमेगा द सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स आल्सो इंक्रीजिंग सपोज सपोज वन ऑब्जेक्ट सपोज वन ऑब्जेक्ट इज रोटेटिंग विद द स्पीड ऑफ ओमेगा so if omega is increased then the centrifugal force is also increased suppose it is rotated it is rotating with respect to this axis with omega speed if the value of omega is increased then centrifugal force is also increasing due to the centrifugal force this object or say the material of that object should be high mechanical strength to increase the mechanical strength of any object or any system we also we have also increase the cost actually if we increase the material strength so we have to use costly material so the cost of total system is also increasing but if we don't increase the omega by which term we uh, by which term after increasing the kinetic energy will increase this mean if we do not increase omega then which term which term we have to increase inertia sir inertia i yes i what is the expression of i for a circular disc suppose we have a circular disc suppose we have a circular disc mr square what is the moment of inertia of that circular disc h half m r square r square if the mass of that circular dx is m and the radius is r then moment of inertia of that circular dx is half m r square but if we in the, want to increase the moment of inertia we have to increase either mass or radius if if we have to increase the moment of inertia so either we have to increase the mass or radius if we increase the mass what will happen if we inertia the, will increase what sir i will increase i will increase but suppose a system has a large mass and one system has small mass which which uh, easy to handle and which one is bulky large mass is bulky large mass is bulky and the weight of that system is huge to uh, if we transport from one to another portion or such say, suppose we have to transport the system from one uh, position to another so we have large transportation cost so we are not preferring the mass or say we are we are not preferring the increase of mass and if we also increase the radius then the system is uh, the volume of that system is huge say if we increase the radius so what we do actually we do is hollow type system we use actually hollow type system so that the mass are basically on periphery we use what kind of system a hollow cylinder type 
and what is the expression of moment of inertia of that system suppose the inner radius is r1 suppose the inner radius is r1 and the outer radius is r2 suppose the inner radius is r1 and the outer radius is r2 then you can write i is equal to for that system is half m r1 square plus r2 square if the mass of that system is m so by using this type of set we increase the moment of inertia of a flywheel system have you understand that this is the pop yes sir why we do in a, actually is yes, hollow circular or hollow uh, cylindrical nature of the flywheel yes sir and excuse me sir yes sir here we had a radius r1 and r2 add so uh, it means it will increase the radius it will increase the radius radius ah uh, yes sir so, suppose i have a system which radius is r1 plus r2 If you use a radius of R1 plus R2, you are saying that. Yes. Then what will happen? The moment of inertia at that time is half m R1 plus R2 square, but the volume of the system is increased when he used r1 plus r2 at that time what is the radius actually r1 plus r2 that means if you see from that figure then r1 plus r2 is like this is r1 plus r2 so the total system radius is increased so the volume of that system is increased yes sir that's why the system is more bulky you can say what kind of system we want small size system or bulky system a small size system small size system that's why we use hollow cylindrical drain yes sir but we, uh, why we add r1 plus r2 so add ya yeah, subtract here we can subtract uh, uh, r2 minus r1 no actually what happen in case of hollow cylindrical drain the moment of inertia of that system is half m r1 square plus r2 if you have calculate this it will the expression of that moment of inertia you have done in physics also i think okay okay in sir in class of physics you have done all this thing so by using hollow cylinder we can increase the moment of inertia of that system so our purpose is sharp like that and that we are going to the so 
this is basically the fly wheel system and now and which kind of material are used to construct a fly wheel it is yes sir which kind of material is used to construct a fly wheel Now tell me which kind of carbon oh, carbon, carbon composite. composite carbon composite or if the rotor speed is several thousand then we use rot uh, steel rotor and if the speed of that rotor is high then we use carbon steel or say carbon composite Now, what are the advantages of high wheel energy storage system? Though the system has no friction, or you can say the friction is too small, so there is no energy loss in that high wheel system, and though there is no direct friction, so we can say the maintenance of that system is low. if the maintenance is low or you say if there is no hazardous environment or ambient of the flywheel so you can say the life of the flywheel system is longer and though it is in a within suppose we are uh, the rotor of the flywheel is in confined in a chamber so it is not interacting with environment you can say we can see from that construction the housing is actually separated from the ambient so we do not actually interact with the environment so you can say there is no environmental hazard and the response of flywheel is actually very fast suppose we have to increase the rotation or say uh, we have to increase the energy of flywheel system what we do or say in which process we actually increase the energy of flywheel because what is the actually procedure by which we increase the energy of a flywheel what we do at that time before can you tell me ritesh yes sir uh, to increase inertia by increasing inertia but suppose there is a system actually we construct a flywheel now it is rotating with a n1 speed suppose the speed of the rotor is n1 at that time how much kinetic energy is there suppose the angular speed of corresponding n1 is omega 1 then tell me how much kinetic energy is stored at that time half n1 square half i omega 1 square no yes sir half i omega 1 square but we have to increase the kinetic energy of that flywheel what we do at that time increase speed sir increasing speed and how we actually increase the speed of a flywheel rotor? Yes, sir. How we actually increase the speed? Is there any system connected with flywheel so that if we increase the speed of that system, then 
the total kinetic energy is increased. What is the actual procedure? I want that. I want to know that what is the procedure by which we increasing the kinetic energy of a flywheel. The flywheel is constructed and it will running at in one speed. So at that time the kinetic energy is half I omega 1 square. I have to increase the energy of that flywheel. What we do? Or say what we have to do at that time? We have to increase the speed of the rotor. Flywheel rotor. And how we actually do that? Vacuum, vacuum pumps. No, 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 the by the vacuum pump. Is there a motor is connected to the rotor? Is there any motor is connected to the rotor of the flywheel? I think you have forgot this. See in the diagram, see in the di the C and the diagram. Yes, sir. Is there any motor connected to the rotor of flywheel? Yes, sir. Then tell me how to increase the speed of the rotor. By increasing the speed of motor. By increasing the speed of the motor. And how we increase the speed of the motor? How we increase? Sir, by applying external power. By extra, uh, applying external power on that motor if we apply a power on that motor then the speed of the motor is increasing and when the speed of the motor is increasing then the rotor of flywheel also rotating with that speed when the peak demand is occurred or say at the time of, of peak what we do we provide the electrical energy to the motor so the motor speed is increased and by this increasing of the motor speed we also increase the speed of the rotor of fly of a flywheel and how much time is taken to increase uh, speed of a rotor or say of a motor how much time taken Suppose if we apply power to a motor and the, at the time of T is equal to 0 or say at the time of connection of the supply, the speed of that motor is say 1000 rpm. Suppose 1000 rpm and I have to increase the speed up to say 10,000. How much time take to increase the speed of the motor from 1000 to 10,000? And say, if I give you an option, say, say, one minute, say, one hour, say one day, how much time take it? Very one minute. It take time. We are going Very to one minute. That means we can increase the kinetic energy of a flywheel system very fast.
we can say that yes sir so that's why we are saying the power response of five wheel system is very fast and uh, when the peak demand is coming or say at the time of peak demand what do we do actually motor will act as a generator and uh, the uh, mechanical power is supplied by the five wheel to the generator and by the generator we produce the electric energy and we serve the peak demand so uh, we can say the efficiency of the flywheel system is quite high because there is no loss actually because the loss which are happen in bearing and air friction we are minimized by which system or say by magnetic which procedure? magnetic magnetic bearing using magnetic bearing and make a vacuum so we increase the efficiency of the system up to say 90 degree or say around 90 degree and we can increase the rotor speed or say we can produce the electricity very fast so the response of the system is very fast so it will say it, it is it has short time short term response or say short term response actually the process or say uh, to store the kinetic energy or to generate the electricity we make it very fast and it has some disadvantages though the speed of the rotor is very high so you can say the construction part in construction part we have to take in a special care so that in high speed the system is the system will not break so we can say it has complex durability to increase the durability of that high wheel, we have to use high mechanical strength material. So the next point, if we use ball bearing, then the friction is more, so the energy is low, energy is losses is high. So we are using magnetic bearing which cost is high. So to decrease the bearing loss we have to use a high cost magnetic bearing. And the mechanical stress actually the uh, material we I use to construct a five wheel, the mechanical state or say mechanical strength of that material should be high and comparatively cost of the five wheel system is more with respect to or say with respect to how much energy will produced by that pump hydro system or say compressor air system the cost is more with respect to that system in switzerland in during 1940s gyro was is made by flywheel power in 1940 Switzerland made a flywheel power bus which name is gyro bus and the gyro bus is taking power from three phase system and 
a three-phase motor is connected with the flywheel when the bus stop is come at that time the power is taken from electric supply and increase the kinetic energy of flywheel and the rest of path between two stop there is no electric wire or say any line needed because the flywheel can store the air sufficient energy to run the bus from one stop to another and in 2004 nasa made have uh, nasa made a actually flywheel system and which will run at 41 k rpm so it will uh, actually design to store that energy suppose we have to launch a missile or say any we have to transport a satellite where we did not get power for all time in this type satellite you can use a flywheel system by which when the power is generated at that time we can store we can store the energy to the flywheel and when the power is needed we can generate the electricity from the flywheel system I hope we will understand what is flywheel and how we actually store the energy by flywheel. I hope you will all understand all. Deepak, have you understand how we actually store the kinetic energy in flywheel? Deepak? Yes sir. yes sir what we have already studied yet the mechanical energy storage system we have studied yet the mechanical energy storage system the first one is what It is which one the first we have studied the mechanical type energy storage system. What is the name of that system? Pump hydro. Pump hydro air compressed air. The pump. Tell me the name of the first system. Number one is what? Pump hydro. Pump hydro storage system. Achha. The second one. The second one. Compressed air. Compressed air. Compressed air. And the next. The last one is the first one is pump hydro. Pump hydro. Second is compressed air. Compressed air. Energy, energy storage system. Energy storage. And the last one is the last one is fly fly wheel and what is the principle of pump hydro tell me what is the principle or which form we actually store the 
kinetic energy or oh, sorry sorry kinetic energy you know? we have in which form we store the electric energy in pump hydro We store, the we store the electricity Mechanic. in Mechanical. potential form, potential energy form, because we convert the electric energy into potential energy. The excess electricity is converted in potential form by a motor pump system by which we store the like uh, store the water in a high level reservoir we store the high level reservoir and we increase the potential energy of that reservoir or say of that water later we use that potential energy and by a turbine generator system we produce the electricity and what we do in compressed air energy storage system what we do make a abandoned canal or say abandoned uh, mine as a reservoir by compressor we compressed the air and store into that reservoir and when the peak demand is coming or say at the time of peak demand we take the air from that reservoir and buy a By a turbine generator set, we produce electricity at the time of peak demand. And in flywheel, what we do? We make a flywheel. And we increase the rotation of that flywheel and store in kinetic energy form and store the energy in kinetic energy form have you understand Deepak? yes sir it is yes sir have you i hope all the things are clear to you yes, sir. and how it will work I hope it will and after that actually after that we have studies we have to study the electrochemical type that means the secondary battery type and flow batteries we have to study we uh, study that in next class and i have taken the attendance of you now for the present deepak yes sir ritesh yes sir abhinash yes sir abhinash Priti Kumari, Rahul Kumar, Yes, sir. Akshay Prajapati, Yes, sir. Jayaul, Yes, sir. Okay, you may leave now and join in next class. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.